morning and happy Monday. Welcome to another week of outfits and the first day of the week, or the work week, I should say. Today is spirit week for my school. It's what we do every week that Halloween happens to fall on, and it's a way for the kids to have fun without it being about Halloween, you know? Because not all families celebrate Halloween, but school spirit week is, you know, not Halloween based, so it's fun and it allows children to dress up and do all the things they do on Halloween without it being about Halloween. So I am wearing pajamas because today is pajama day. Really, I'm just wearing a nightie. I'm wearing my uh, Care Bear nightie. This is ancient. I actually think I might be about to throw it out, which breaks my heart because I have a hard time getting rid of things, but I've held on to this for years and honestly, it's like snug. I mean, I don't feel good wearing it. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel good on. It's not even like an expensive nighty. I just happened to buy this when my husband and I were dating and I had come to America and it was before we got married. So I was going back to England and I brought this and it just reminds me of that time when I was really into Care Bears, even though I was like 21, 22. Um, they were, you know, they're, they're an 80s kid thing. And I hadn't seen Care Bears in England for absolutely years and I came to America and they had it like in blankets and they had the toys and it was everywhere and so I kind of brought some of it and took it back to England, wore it in England and then wore it back here. I saw all this when I was pregnant. It's really hard for me to throw it out but it seems dumb to hold on to it, right? My memories aren't this 90, my memories are in my, in my head. Anyhow, I put it on today and I put a dressing gown on top. And that's what I wore for the students, so that's what I wore for pajama day. But in reality, I can't be in my pajamas all day, so I've actually got clothes on underneath. So today is the day when I have my students for half an hour, and then it's a planning day the rest of the day. So I do have meetings today. I have a meeting in just a minute. That, that's why I'm quickly filming this in between my meeting with my students that I ju like, ju bleh, that just finished. And then I have a meeting with the language arts team to work on the language arts plans. And that's probably an hour, usually ends up being an hour. So that will be 11 when that finishes. And then at 12.30, I have another hour long meeting with admin and my team. And then um, that will finish. I actually have a le one less meeting today. We were supposed to have another meeting at the end of the day. And I actually have two less meetings. We're supposed to have a meeting at the end of the day. That was like a whole school meeting on Zoom. And I was supposed to have a team grade level meeting. And because of the, the so many meetings, we decided to postpone our team meeting until, you know, just to hold on to everything till next week. And then the whole school meeting got canceled. So I have a little bit of extra time to actually plan. And I'm telling you that I'm really grateful because for people that aren't teachers, this Monday planning might seem like a luxury. But if you're a teacher out there, you know, you need every single second to plan because online's a lot. I don't know how people are doing this hybrid. I, I really hope that we don't go for that because I don't know how to do everything I'm doing now and be in the classroom with kids on some days. Like this online stuff, I'm not saying I don't enjoy it. I actually kind of do enjoy it, but you need all that time to do it. Like you literally need all that time. So the thought of having so many meetings was overwhelming, but thankfully, I'm down to just two now and that's still a lot of my time taken but not as bad as it was anyway back to what I'm wearing sorry for all the the chatter but anyway I was dressed underneath my, my nightie for how I'm gonna be for the day I'm wearing some Halloween socks they've got this I what she called bride of oh I can't get that like a bride of Frankenstein on the front I think that's who that is and where's her face oh no it's nice just her no, it is her face, right? There's a face there. Yeah, and her hair's like an... They're just cheap Dollar Tree socks, but they're a little, a little fun for me. I'm wearing my Velvet New York & Co. joggers, very comfortable. On top, I'm wearing a Disney Mickey Mouse top. This uh, is from Macy's and is an, actually it's in the size 1X. And I don't think it feels that like a 1X. It feels like an XL, which I know is the same, but it never is. You know, it never is. And then I have this sweater, which is also from Macy's. And who made this? Is this actually Disney? It says Disney. Uh, and I love this one, but it is not worn very well at all. It is, I don't know if you can see. 
It is all, let me get into light, all bobbly. I'll come really close, sometimes that works. It's like bobbly. So this is definitely like a hang out at home, just ch chill in kind of sweater now because it's got bubbles, bubbles, whatever you want to call them, fuzz all over it. Anyway, so that's what I'm wearing today, very comfortable. I have a, let me see if I can show you a, a metallic scrunchie in my hair. And this is how I'm really dressing for the day. So I hope you um, have a great day and I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Today is hat day at school. So I am wearing this unicorn headband, which is my take on a hat. Uh, it is actually lunchtime and I'm about to go on a bike ride. So I can't bike with this on, I'm gonna take it off. And on top, uh, I am wearing my current favorite Old Navy t-shirt, which is this gray t-shirt, and it's covered in pumpkins. Underneath, I'm just wearing a plain black cotton long sleeve top from Style Co. It's just, it's just plain, and I love it. I've owned it for a few years, and it's just super duper comfortable. I am wearing a very old Marona, which is a Target brand skirt that I pretty much exclusively wear once a year on this week because it's orange and gray and feels Halloween-y. I might try and wear it a little bit more in the fall, but I typically wear it once or twice a year. Uh, I do like it. That's why it's still going strong, even though it's pretty old. Um, the grays and the oranges in the skirt, or the gray and the orange, are not the same as the shirt, so they probably don't go that well, although I kind of like the idea of pattern um what's it called well you have two different patterns i can't remember that word honestly zoom fries my brain um wear a mismatched print i guess and uh they don't quite go but they go well enough for the week before halloween right because halloween's saturday and yeah so i can't bike in this i'm gonna take this off i do have a pair of old navy black leggings underneath so i'm gonna go now on my bike ride and i'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. Oh. Spin. Ooh, spin magic unicorn. Spin, spin, spin. I've been breaking into song all morning. I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't. I really don't. Oh, and I'm also wearing earrings, which are pumpkins. Pumpkin. Bu See, all morning. That is what I've been like all morning. My poor students have had to deal with me breaking into song randomly. Good morning and happy Wednesday. No, oh, Colby, show your toys that. Colby wanted to show you his toys. It is. No, oh, go on. All right, thank now, you. Now, now, is, now my turn. Now, now my turn? Now my turn. <laughs> it is superhero day at school. The Colby is here because he is also no, 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 Batman. And I am Batman, so I am wearing this really nice dress. <laughs> Bats, that's right. From Torrid, so let me come close so you can see it. Has a, an, it's not embroidered, it's a, a patch with a silver band. Has pockets, it's knee length. We have pockets. You have pockets too. And um, it's actually got mesh at the top here. And I put a long sleeve black top underneath to hide my bra and chest, and you know, make it first grade appropriate. All right, go find daddy, daddy, with your jacket. He's so noisy. Um, wearing a simple black headband, got my hair down, no earrings. I'm wearing black leggings on my legs. And that's my outfit, but this outfit is so cool because it's got a cape. So I actually just made a video sharing what I brought with my Torrid Cash, and this is one of the dresses ah! I brought with my Torrid Cash. And so that video actually should be going up today. So as you're watching this, it should already be up. And Colby also just brought in his jacket. He also has a Batman jacket that's several sizes too big with uh, the eye part. So I guess, let's see if I can, he is jumping on his trampoline, he was stars. That's what, no, 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 Batman. That's it, that's Wednesday. Let me show you what, call me Bounce. Bounce, this is what was making that noise. Batman and his, uh, and his cards. <laughs> Anyway, have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. No, 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 no,
Sorry for the yellowy light, but it is a rainy, drizzly day. It's 9.30 in the morning and it's still dark. Like it is just dark. The rain, you probably can hear it. It is just pouring down. It is wet. Ugh. All my students are tired because it's such a dark day. It's not like waking us up. Anyhow, today is the continuation of Spirit Week and it is crazy hair or 2020 hair day. And I have, I told my kids my hair is tired mom hair. <laughs> you just put it up. Um, yes, that's my hair. On my body, I am wearing, let me come really close so you can see. This is a Halloween dress that I purchased from JCPenney last year. And it, I think it's by City Straits. And it's just got skeletons and bones and skulls and bats. And I love it. I love it. Underneath it, I'm wearing some black leggings for warmth. Some Halloween socks that have got bats on them. I am wearing this vest from, or vest cardigan from Banana Republic and that's that's my outfit pretty simple pretty comfortable very seasonal and uh yeah I like it so far my students haven't noticed the, the pictures on my dress but I guess when you can only really see this much although I do stand up you know they're not noticing maybe I will point it out to them because I think they'll get a kick out of this dress and that's it for today let me just show you the rain it's it's chucking it down it's, see how it's like really raining? Like there's puddles. You can never see rain on the camera like you can in real, like real life, but I don't know if you can see that big puddle there. Yeah. It's raining, it's pouring. See you tomorrow. Good morning and happy Friday. It is the last day of the week, the last day of Spirit Week. And today is uh, Jersey Day or you're allowed to dress in non-scary um, outfits. So I have a lot of superheroes in my class today. I have quite a few princesses, some mermaids. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, my kids are so excited. Our learning today, it's 9.30, it's that like 10 minute break I have. Uh, my kids are so excited for Halloween. It's exactly the same excitement that they have in the classroom. So it's really great to see that it's transforming over into Zoom, um, but really, the, the only thing they want to talk about is Halloween, which is, which is great. Um, we just read Spookly the Square Pumpkin and uh, The Legend of Spookly the Square Pumpkin, which is a great book. I read that every year. And uh, we're learning about how to use pictures, picture clues. You know, the picture works with the text. So when we get back after our break, they have a picture from the book and they have to write what's happening in the picture. So it's everything we're doing today is like fun, but learning. For math, we have uh, addition and it's uh, pumpkins and gourds and it's like I have this many pumpkins and this many gourds or I have, yeah, it's like it's all full, it's more full themed than Halloween. It's like full because, you know, even though I'm, I'm clearly dressed, I'm calling myself the pumpkin witch. <laughs> Everyone in my class this year is celebrating Halloween. I don't have anyone that doesn't. Some years you do have that and you've got to be careful. I wouldn't wear this this on my head. I'd wear this dress, but I wouldn't wear this on my head if I had a child that wasn't celebrating. But this year, everyone is, so it's okay. Um, what else are we doing this afternoon? Oh, and this afternoon, there's a, a really cute how to draw this like super cute pumpkin, and then we're gonna write sentences. So it's a fun day, but there's learning there. Um, anyway, I am wearing the sister dress to the one I wore yesterday. This one has a pumpkin on. This is also, I think, City Straits from JCPenney. Exactly the same as yesterday's dress. It's just a different pattern. On my legs, I'm wearing a new pair of fantastically ugly Lou the Row leggings. And I hunted for these. I hunted and I hunted. There's just pumpkins. It's all pumpkins. And I love them. I haven't owned them for very long, probably about a week. So they're going to get more wear next year. But they're pumpkins, so I consider them full. So I will wear them next year from the like the beginning of fall into probably Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's my cutoff for full clothing. Thanksgiving signals the start of holiday festive wear. So, <laughs> so I have a few more weeks to wear these, but they really are a bit Halloween-y. They go really nicely with this dress. Um, yeah, so these are from Thread Up. These are thrifted. This is JCPenney. And this is Apartment 9. This is my trusty old cardigan that I wear 
all the time. It's long. It's actually, I think, about the same length as the dress. And I did thrift this originally, I believe, from the Salvation Army in West Hartford, Connecticut. Not 100% sure I did, but I think I did. On top, I'm wearing this hat with this cute little spider, which is for all my mom. I think it's from Asta in England. She brought this over for me. And that's it. That's my outfit of the day. I also am excited tomorrow for Halloween. Hopefully the weather is good. Tonight I'm going actually into my school for our school's Bonanza. Usually that, of course, that's in person and it's like, I think I talked about it early in the week, but we usually, usually have like a haunted house and we give out candy and we have activities. It's not like that this year. This year it's a drive round and my uh, first grade team and I are all dressed as minions. So I've got dungarees, I've got a, I don't have the right yellow, but I have a mustard yellow top. I crocheted a hat, so I have a yellow hat, black gloves, black shoes, easiest costume I've ever put together. Uh, so I'm wearing that tonight, and that's it. That's my uh, Halloween plans. Let me know your Halloween plans down below, what you're wearing uh, for celebrating, if you don't celebrate, right? Because there are people that don't. And a happy Spooky Friday. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave a kind comment below and I'll see you in another video. Oh, and subscribe if you haven't. Please subscribe if you haven't. I always watch these YouTubers and they always say, click the bell for notifications. But I actually watch YouTube on my Kindle and there's no bell on the Kindle. Like it does not have a bell. So every time they say that, I'm like, except on my Kindle. And I don't think on my Roku, when I do it on my television, I don't think there's a bell. But if there's a bell, go ahead and press it. Why not? You might as well get notified. Have a good day. Bye. Happy Halloween.